finds Nicholson. Here we go. Last play of the game. Nicholson in traffic. Looks inside from close range. It bounces around again. It counts. It counts. Adelaide has scored on the buzzer and taken this to an exciting game three. It's probably the best game I've ever been a part of. Um, I had chills playing in the game and uh, some of the big plays that the girls came up with were unbelievable and um, yeah, I just, I loved everything about it. It was your first season with, with Adelaide as well. What was it like playing with the likes of Nicole Seacamp and some of the great Australian players who are lucky to be on the Lightning roster? Yeah, Nicole, uh, she's a great athlete, uh, a super point guard and love playing with her. I see, she seems to find me in all the right spots, uh, which is awesome. And to play with her again this season will be unreal and hopefully we can build off last year. 18 months ago, if I said to you that you'd be training in the Opal squad, would you have laughed? Definitely. Uh, I think there's been a lot of hard work uh, put in from 18 months ago and um, I think finally the re it's paying off and it's really nice to uh, be a part of the squad. Was there something that clicked for you that you wanted to take your game to the next level? Yeah, I think I had a lot of conversations with uh, coach Chris Lucas in Adelaide. Um, he told me I could do it if I wanted it, I really could. And um, I think I took that advice uh, on board, really got in the gym, worked harder and yeah, just improving my uh, three point game uh, to the next level. You were the best three point shooter in the league last year from a percentage perspective. Was that something that you worked very tenaciously on during the, the off season? Yeah, I think I put threes up every day. It was something that um, I definitely worked on uh, throughout the whole season, so yeah. Do you have a three point routine? Uh, yeah, I do do the same thing with Chris uh, pretty, pretty regularly. Um, puts me through the same workout and that seems to be what works for me. So a lot of people who watch the game would see what you do offensively and from a three point perspective, but you also won defensive player of the year last year. Is that just as satisfying knowing that you were switched on defensively and contributing in that way? Yeah, definitely. Probably even more satisfying. Um, I think it, it's always been defense first for me and I um, have always prided myself on that. And uh, to win that award was unbelievable because there were some fantastic defenders in the league. So um, yeah, always defense and then the rest will come. Nicholson open and joins the three-point shooting party. Has it been a, a lifelong dream to, to wear green and gold? Yeah, definitely. As a little kid, I used to look up to the Opals wearing the bodysuits and um, I used to think, wow, I'd love to be a part of that one day. And I think it fell away for a little while. Wasn't too sure where I was at with basketball. And then um, the last couple of years, I've really tried to put the work in and uh, yeah, now it's just become a reality. Did you contemplate walking away from, from the game? Uh, I think after college I came back, I had a couple of injuries during college um, and then had a pretty bad one when I signed with Sydney in the WNBL, so I wasn't sure after that, um, but I think signing in Adelaide with Chris was probably the best thing I did and he really filled me back up with some confidence and yeah. What's that relationship like with Chris? He, you mentioned that he's out there helping you shoot threes beforehand. There's obviously a strong bond between the two of you. Yeah, we do have a good relationship. Um, he can tell me how it is and I can tell him how it is, which is good. Um, but no, he's helped me with my game, shooting, all the little things. And sometimes in the past I have struggled with a bit of confidence, but um, being able to uh, instill that confidence in me and just go out and play my game has been something that's been massive with um, him towards me. And how much of a confidence booster is it for you knowing that he's signed on for the next three seasons at, at Adelaide? Yeah, uh, gives us all confidence. Um, he has put a lot into the Adelaide program and uh, I love playing for him as do all of the girls. So yeah, it's nice to see he's gonna be with the club for that long and hopefully some of the core group can stay there for the years to come. There are a lot of off-court distractions throughout last year. When you look back on it now, how proud are you of the girls and the team? and Chris that they were able to rally together despite all these all these off-court distractions. Yeah, really proud. I think we overcame a lot last year. Um, we didn't really know what was happening and we tried to just stay out of it as best we could. But um, I think to come together and uh, make the final and put it all out on the floor really helped us to get some sponsorship and whatever else we needed for this season coming.